Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's video on Bootcamp, how to set a default OSX startup disk in Windows. Okay guys, so recently I created a video uh, which shows you how to set a, st a default startup disk in OSX and you can find that in the uh, 123MyIT.com website. However, if you're, you, if you're running Windows and you want to set a default startup disk, I'll show you how to do that now. So you go into Start and then control panel, go into system and security, and then click on boot camp. Okay, and then it will bring up a boot camp control panel window, and in under the startup uh, heading or menu, you will see there it says select the system you want to use to start your start up your computer. Okay, and we've got two drives here. So if we have a look in our Windows Explorer, you can see I've got my Windows Boot Camp partition and I've got my Mac HD partition. So if we want to, what we would do if we want to set a default partition, so uh, a default uh, drive that the Windows is going to boot into, we would select Boot Camp for Windows to boot into the Windows partition or if we wanted to boot into Mac by default we would select the Mac HD. Okay, so if you say, well that's fine, but I don't actually have a boot camp icon under the control panel. If this is the case, then you haven't installed the Windows support software. It's the software that would have been saved to your USB when you initially set up the boot camp. If you want to download a copy of that software, you can actually get it from the 123MyIT website. So if you go back to 123myit.com, click on downloads. And then underneath that, if you scroll down to where it says Boot Camp Direct Apple Downloads, and you've got the Boot Camp 5 version here and Boot Camp 4, you can download those and install those. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.